The twin flame journey is over. What do I do now? Now, before I get into the part about what do I do now, let me tell you, let me explain to you before you jump to any conclusions about what I mean when I say the twin flame journey is over. Because there's some of y'all, I see you in the comments and you're like, it's been five years, it's been two years, it's been six years, it's been 30 years. Really? Really? You're on a twin flame journey for 30 years before there was even internet? <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I was done with the twin flame journey like five or six years ago, you guys. Why? Because I figured out that this is my spiritual awakening. If you still think you're on a twin flame journey and it's been like a couple of years or five years or longer, you are way off base with what this really is, you guys. I see people on the internet, you know, and even like other like twin flame coaches and I I went through, I don't know, maybe a month ago, and I was kind of cruising through YouTube, seeing what the other twin flame coaches are up to. And there are some of them who I think are actually twin flames, teaching twin flames. And it's like, I mean, I'm still doing it too, but their whole approach is this is a twin flame journey and we're all gonna get together. And you know, this one lady, she has little get togethers where they all get together and they talk about twin flame things together and that's all they do and it's one big cope and it's just all twin flame stuff non-stop all the time and i'm over here going get off the twin flame stuff and i've been doing that for six years now why do i keep posting twin flame content then well because there's always new people meeting their twin flame and i want to get them in here so that i can deprogram them from the twin flame obsession and by the way, go watch my video called The Twin Flame Obsession. I'll link it down below for you. It's on my True Twin Flame Teachings playlist. You're not on a twin flame journey and you never were. That's the difference between me and this other person that I was talking about. And I'm not trying to put her down. I'm not trying to be mean and, you know, say that I'm better than her or anything like that. It's just, dude, seriously, give it a rest, man. You're not on a twin flame journey and you never were. Your twin flame is a simultaneous incarnation of your soul. They are your past life. And I made a bunch of videos about that too. I'll link it down below for you. Go watch my twin flame science playlist. Yeah, your twin flame is your past life, you guys. Well, everybody says your twin flame is your soul. I mean, look, reincarnation. We already know about this stuff. What did you think it is? Everybody says your twin flame is your soul right? How so? How is that true? How does that work, right? What did you think it was? Well, anyway, guys, that's that's the deal with that. Like if you still think you're on a twin flame journey and you've been struggling with this for all these years, that's the problem. You're on a spiritual journey, guys. Your twin flame is your spirit. They are your soul. Now, for the rest of you that are you're trying to hear me right, you're trying to hear me right now, you might be sitting there watching your screen, nodding your head going, yes, 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 right on, yes, cool, awesomeness. Okay. So now what? Because here's what I was thinking about. Here's what prompted this video, and I'm not sure how I'm going to approach this, but I want to start making videos basically talking about, okay, the twin flame journey is over, now what? right? Because there's 100,000 people on my YouTube channel. Well, I've been doing this for six years. And I'm thinking maybe what I need to do is offer something to people that are like just done with the twin flame journey. And you've all got different reasons. Some of you, you're just done because you figured out this is actually your spiritual awakening. I've been telling you that until I'm blue in the face. I've been telling you that for six years. Stop making it about the person. Take your focus off the person not only are you gonna go out and live an amazing life, your twin flame comes back. How about that? It works the opposite. And again, if you're confused by that, go watch my free masterclass. I will link it down below for you. It's free. Um, the number one mistake everybody makes on the twin flame journey. Go check it out. Sign up for my paid coaching. Go watch my free coaching. Do something, guys. Do something. But some people, they figure out 
hey, this is actually my spiritual journey. And then they go out and they live an amazing life. And some don't. Now, the people that do figure that out, some of them end up with their twin flame and some of them don't. I've talked about that before too. There's the one of the biggest myths on the internet about twin flames is that the purpose is to be with your twin. It's not. That does happen. It, you actually have some say-so in that. But what your say-so is in that is that you got to make this your spiritual journey, not a twin flame journey. There's no twin flame journey, guys. There's reincarnation, right? Is there twin flames? Well, yes, but technically it's just your past life. Meeting them triggers your spiritual awakening. So if you're still stuck on the tr twin flame journey, I'm trying to get you off of that, man. Go watch my free masterclass. Go do something. Do something, please. <laughs> but what do you do now? Like for those of you, because again, there's 100,000 people on here. Probably most of them are here on my YouTube channel because they heard what I had to say. And they said, wait, I got it. This is my spiritual journey. Thank you, Kurt. All right, now what? Because those people, almost all of you watching, actually, if you're on my channel, because I'm pretty fervent, I'm pretty adamant about explaining that part of it, how it's your spiritual journey, you're still here on my YouTube channel, and I'm going, wait, I have to, like I said, I've got to have something to offer you. So I think what I'm going to offer up to this community on this YouTube channel is going to be how to start businesses, how you could start an online business. Um, I need to be offering some kind of a, like an entrepreneurial ship, um, school of entrepreneurial ship maybe that people could sign up for. I could talk about stuff like that. I could crank out free content on my YouTube channel. How do we start online businesses? How do I, cause the whole thing about the great awakening that's taking place on planet earth for which twin flames are only a small portion, right? Like out of all the people on earth that are having legit, like a big legit spiritual awakening, right? Twin flames is just a portion of that. And I don't know how big of a portion, but I've talked about this before too. There's lots of other ways that you can have a spiritual awakening triggered, right? Twin flames is just one way and we're just a small portion of that. But the conversation going on in the general spiritual community is this talk about new earth. And I'm a pragmatist and I'm sitting here looking at that thinking, well then what are we going to do about that? Because if you look at spiritual content on YouTube, for example, you're going to get nonstop stuff about it's going to happen. Are you going to be ready when new earth comes? You got to be ready. It's going to happen. Here it comes. And I'm like, wait a minute. You guys on YouTube that are doing that, you're just doing that for clicks. You just want people to click on your video. You guys, the videos I make where I talk about, here's three signs. Your twin flame is coming back. Here's three signs. Here's five signs. Twin flame separation is almost over. This is my little shtick, okay? This is how I'm different. Is I know that's what people click on, but when you click on my video, then I talk about how you need to make it happen, don't I? Yeah, I do that all the time. But there is something to be said about the psychology of people being told, oh yeah, you've been a good little boy or a good little girl, and God picked you, and you're special now, and it's gonna happen. Really, so you don't have to do shit? Your twin flame's just gonna come back. That's also why people get addicted to tarot readings, because they wanna know if it's gonna happen. And I'm over here going, you gotta make it happen! It's not just fucking, oh, I picked you, and it's gonna happen. God picked you, you were a good little girl. Guys, no. You gotta make it happen, man. Is there a higher level of consciousness expanding on this planet? Yes. Why? Well, because people are finally sitting down and learning to meditate and having these things happen. There is a spiritual hierarchy that is cultivating this energy, yes. 
there's also your higher self doing that. But you have to throw in also, guys, they can't do all the work for you. That's what I'm saying. Is it gonna happen? Maybe to an extent. You met your twin flame and they trigger your awakening. But again, I just talked about how there's people that stay stuck on this for like five, six, 30, 20 years. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, you were given the initial push. It happened. But then after you were given that initial push, people that stay stuck on the twin flame journey for years and years, you didn't do your part, man. You're not just going to be handed a bunch of money or whatever, or your twin flame. You got to do something, man. That's new earth. That's the part about new earth that most YouTubers, like spiritual people, aren't talking about. It's the same stuff all the damn time. It's going to happen. Are you going to be ready for it? It is coming. <laughs> you guys, you have to, and some do. I don't want to say none of them do. Some do. Some do. There's a lot of good spiritual teachers out there talking about this stuff, and good for them. But watch out for that. Watch out for that. Watch out for the people that just tell you it's going to happen. Are you going to be ready? Right. What are you going to do? <laughs> what? So if you want to start a business, if you want to bring in new, your, new earth, maybe that's the way to go, guys. Seriously, think about it. Like One of the primary things that we're going to need to do as an awakening culture is create ethical economies and localized economies. No more of this centralized bullshit that the new... How do I put this? I don't want to say this on this platform. Um... <laughs> You know the name of my channel, New World All-Star? Well, I, I picked that name as a way of saying fuck you to the New World. Uh, welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? So New World. Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? Right. Okay. So, and if you want to learn more about that. Go over here to this platform. Yes, that's real. And the people who run that whole thing have names and faces and organizations that they operate. There is already a world government in operation right now. They just have seized control of legitimate national governments. And it has to do with corporations. And yes, that's real. And yes, there's a bunch of evidence for it because the people that are doing it say they're doing it. So find me over here, New World All-Star. All-Star is one word, A-L-L-S-T-A-R, New World All-Star. This is just like YouTube. It's a streaming platform with videos. I put together a special presentation over there. So go check that out. Anyway, those systems are crumbling, but why are they crumbling? Well, yeah, there was an initial investment on the part of the spiritual hierarchy. Yes, it happened. Sure, they, they threw in. They said, we're going to make an investment. We'll put down 20%. You guys got to do the other 80%. Why? Because you have free will. We're not going to make you do anything. You guys do it. We can't make you do shit. That's unethical, right? That's why you got to make shit happen. You were given this awakening. You met your twin flame. Awesome. You were, your higher self said, all right, I'll put in 20%. Here you go. What are you going to do with that seed money? What are you going to do with it, right? And the seed money in my analogy is your consciousness. All right, I'll throw in. Here's 20%. What are you going to do to get the other 80%? Or maybe the, maybe the investment is more like 30%. I don't know. But that's kind of the way your higher self looked at it. Like, yeah, I'll give you 30% towards your awakening and towards your ability to be a creator, to manifest a better life for yourself, and ultimately a better world. You got to put in the other 70%. What are you going to do, right? So that's what I'm all about, guys. I want to take the community that I have here on this YouTube channel and try to offer up solutions. Like, how are we going to bring in this new earth? And I think like economics is kind of a, a great starting place because people need food and housing and healthcare and clothing and right money to travel and do fun things also to enjoy ourselves you need money and there's nothing wrong with money i've talked about this lots of times if you don't use money you can have totalitarianism or bartering those are your two choices if you get rid of money if, you, if you're one of those wokies who thinks we should get rid of money then 
the other options are totalitarianism or um, <laughs> uh, uh, bartering. Anyway, uh, just go watch some of my videos I've made about money. Just type in New World All-Star Money or something. Um, but yeah, I think there should be a like ethical economy that emerges from this great awakening that's taking place on planet Earth. Um, where we are leaving behind the old systems, which I talk about over here, the old banking system and economic systems and military government, all that stuff, all those systems that are crumbling. I talk about those systems over here, but what are we going to replace it with, with this new earth? And again, you guys, there's a whole, there's a whole bunch of you on my YouTube channel that are like, yeah, I'm done with the twin flame stuff. I don't want to hear about it anymore. Um, I'm done with the twin flame journey. I either got my twin flame or I didn't. And again, most of you, 100,000 people, you're here because you heard me say, yeah, this is your awakening. Stop making it about the person. And you said, ah, got it, right? Some of you are new. Some of you are new. I'm always getting new people. I get like between one and 2,000 new subscribers a month. Um, so you haven't quite heard me say that yet. So just go watch my free master class. Um, which again, I'll link it down below or my free true twin flame teachings playlist. I got a bunch of free stuff. You can sign up for my paid coaching, right? You can, there's something that you can do, but again, most of you, you've been here for like six years. This YouTube channel is six years old. So now what, now what do I do, Kurt? Well, that's my idea. And I haven't quite figured out exactly how I'm going to structure it, but I'll figure it out. You're going to be seeing different kind of topics on this YouTube channel in the coming months where I'm going to be talking about, okay, what do we do now? Basically, that's, that's basically it. What comes after the twin flame journey? And guys, I'm all about it. I want you to build an amazing, fantastic life for yourself and a better world. So we're doing that. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week.